Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action, and today we're back once again with the Green Tide, this time Sladex is going to be taking on Ceramis, uh Vampire Counts, another battle from uh, my son Herbert Walker's tournament in recent days, so be sure to check out his Twitch channel down in the description below. As for this battle, we've got uh, Wurzak here leading the Greenskins, front line of Savage Orcs with AP Gloonies, couple Black Orcs as well, a very large firing squad with lots of uh, Orc Airboys, Rusty Airs, we've got Goblins supporting on the flanks, Broken Tusk Mob in the center, and uh, yeah, for the Vampire Counts, looks like Manfred up in the air, we've got some Fell Bats and a Terror Geist. For the main army here, we've got some Zombies as well as a second line of Grave Guard including the Tide and the Sternsmen, both. Black Knights. There's some more Black Knights. We've got uh, <clears throat> Mortis Engine here. Just took a shot from that Vindictive Glare. Very good stuff. Crypt Horrors as well. And then, of course, the, yeah, the Flying Squad with the Terror Geist, the two Bats, and Mr. Manfred here. Uh, Manfred is going to be carrying Spirit Leech and Invocation of Nehek only. So a very cheap kit, but definitely looking to uh, take out the Greenskin's leadership there. And uh, we'll see. Sladex is going to be pushing forward, kind of occupying this open space here. And it looks like the uh, Vampire Count player also making his way forward as well. So, yeah, it should be a very interesting battle. This is a matchup that can potentially be very, very tough for the Greenskins because of the fear and terror that different Vampire Counts use units cause, obviously like this Terror Geist or like Manfred. Uh, Manfred's also pretty good at Lord Sniping. You can see he's going to fly in here and drop a Spirit Leech on Wurzag. Uh, the... Uh, little Zappa there, responds with a nice magic missile, and uh, a couple of the missiles make contact, a few of them do miss cleanly though, uh, so yeah, a little bit of back and forth, but definitely uh, Manfred getting the advantage in that uh, trade there, whereas I have not taken about 10-20% to 20 of his HP and damage, so yeah. It's definitely going to be uh, pretty tough for the Greenskins to keep Wurzag alive, but he's dancing away regardless. <laughs> Oh man, such a cool animation. Anyway, yeah, Greenskin's just pressing uh, pressing the advantage here. Saramis just kind of lining his forces up, going to take this engagement uh, between these two cliffs so that he can't get outflanked too badly. Another Spirit Leech overcast going down on Wurzag. The overcast Spirit Leech just allows Manfred to cast it at a longer range so that he doesn't have to get quite so close because uh, this Daka squad definitely very, very scary. You can see the balance power is starting to shift a little bit as Wurzag does lose HP there. So uh, Greenskin's definitely going to need to get things rolling here as soon as possible. You can see the Black Knight still hidden in the woods over on the flanks. Going to be uh, tr potentially trying to come up and around and get at some of these missile units. But uh, you can see there, Foot of Gork going to come down. Yep. This will buff up the, uh, the lads on the approach here. It does actually a tiny bit of damage to the Sternsmen. But uh, you can see that does pop the Bonewood Staff there, giving everyone extra charge bonus and melee attack. The Wah also popped at this point, so we'll get some close-ups of the, uh, the boys running in here to just obliterate these zombies. Yeah, zombies, no problem, just gonna get carved to absolute pieces by the angry lads. Meanwhile, the uh, Mortis Engine's coming forward, you can see the flanking forces. Uh, so far, yep, Blood Knight's coming up and around here, but there are Spider Riders and Goblins protecting as well. Uh, the uh, Crypt Horrors aren't actually hidden, they should also come out here, but you can see that the zombies are just getting crumbled, absolutely crumbled. And the Daka Squad has turned their attention to Manfred, who has popped himself with an Invocation of the Heck, but still taking quite a bit of damage there. Black Knight's kind of blundering into Goblins a little bit. Uh, pretty rough. Uh, Wurzak's taking a ton of damage at this point, but he is still alive very critically. Breath attack there going down on, I think, Nasty Skulkers. Don't know that that's necessarily the best option there, but uh, yeah, the Daka Squad also firing at the Mortis Engine will do quite a bit of damage. He doesn't have much armor to begin with, and with the armor sundering, definitely would be uh, very, very low, but a little bit of a Ski Wampus Breath attack there. It does make some okay contact against the uh, Rusty Airs in the back, but nothing too crazy. You can see uh, Sladex has done a great job spreading out his missile units, uh, so that you can see Manfred and the Terror Geist they are able to dive on a couple here, but then the other two can just turn and shoot. Meanwhile, the Mortis Engine has taken so much damage, it's had to pull back and uh, kind of reevaluate its uh, life decisions. But uh, Broken Tusk Mob, having taken very little damage, going to be able to sweep up and around the back line. Unfortunately, one more Spirit Leech on Old Dance and Wurzag means that he's probably going to go down. Uh, he's only got about 200 HP left, so a couple more ticks would probably take him out. 
Um, but yeah, looks like some bats actually come to finish off his leadership. But uh, balance power is very even despite that because Manfred's taken so much damage from the Rusty Airs and that uh, this Night Goblin Shaman as well just been perpetually uh, using the, those magic missiles. Looks like he's going to potentially pop another one here. Let's see. A lot of lads in the way, but... Uh, Ooh, a point-blank shot right in the face. Does a ton of damage to Manfred. Just about sets him to crumbling. He actually is crumbling there. So, uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. The Greenskins are starting to pull ahead a little bit on the balance power. And, I mean, this Mortis engine can try and come in. It's taken so much damage at this point, though, that it's probably going to get taken out relatively soon um, if, with some focus fire. Um, very nice use of the Fanatics as well, being cast uh, down the line of Graveguard here, doing some good damage. The Black Orcs just mopping up Sternsmen. Uh, so the Skulkers drop a smoke bomb there, uh, preventing the Terror Guys from being able to get back up in the air. And at this point, Manfred, I believe, actually went down somewhere. Yep, looks like old Manfred went down here to the uh, Broken Tusk Mob and the Black Orcs. So with him being down, the balance power has decisively shifted. Uh, Warzag's still alive, only 150 HP. He's probably not coming back from routing, but he is very critically still alive. The Terror Geist now crumbling. Uh, doesn't have the best leadership. Obviously, the regeneration helps, but uh, yeah, just not able to really, really uh, come back at this point. I think the Vampire Counts are pretty much done for. Looks like one more uh, Vindictive Glare from the Night Goblin Shaman. Ooh, another good hit. Solid contact there. Probably going to set the Terror Geist to crumbling, but uh, he's going to come down and use his Breath Attack on these Broken Tusk Mob. Does some okay damage. Actually looks like did more damage to those Skulkers. But uh, at this point, the Mortis Engine is barely still alive. Just about to get finished off here by some uh, Black Orcs and the uh, Archers in Melee. Yeah, only 100 HP dropping rapidly, so the Mortis Engine goes down. And with that, it's pretty much going to be GG. There's really nothing that can clean up all these uh, Greenskins infantry. There's just way, way too many Black Orcs still completely healthy on the field. So, uh, Saramis is going to go ahead and admit defeat in just a moment here. But we'll soak up uh, some last cinematics of these uh, Air Boys and the Goblins fighting it out with the Black Knights here. Trying to drag the rest of them down. And the Boar Boys charging into this other unit of Black Knights on the far side. The uh, Terror Geist in the background, and man, Broken Tusk Mob, very good unit. You don't see them too often, but they're in Courage, and their better combat stats definitely make them better than the regular Orc Boy Boy Vegans. They still just, ah, uh, 27 attack and 29 defense is so bad. With only a 50 charge bonus, really means they actually don't have that much offensive power. But, uh, yep, Terror Geist comes in, does manage to terrify away the uh, Night Goblin Shaman, but... At this point, there's just Graveguard, and that's pretty much it. Maybe a couple Black Knights still over here, uh, still fighting, but they're crumbling. And yeah, the Terror guys again taking damage. Another beautiful Fanatics cast right through those Sternsmen. And the uh, the Graveguard, or yeah, the Sternsmen are Graveguard. The, uh, the Tithe as well, still holding out with their uh, massive amount of HP. But yeah, yeah, Cerebus doing everything he can to try and come back in this, but there's just way too many boys left on the field. Just the, the horde killing power, I don't think, was really there for this Vampire Counts army. And Greenskins certainly are the best horde faction in the game right now, I would say. Um, Skaven are another one. They're not good, but they are a horde faction. But uh, Greenskins can just bring so many cost-effective troops to the field that it can be very, very hard to deal with all of the different units that they can bring. Um... Yeah, just in terms of the army breakdown here, you can see in the front line against the zombies, obviously, Savage Orcs racking up a ton of kills. Same thing with the Black Orcs here. The Spider Rider Archers kind of did their, or the Spider Riders, rather, kind of did their job of helping drag down some of the more high-value units. Uh, Mortis Engine still able to get two kills, 50, uh, sorry, 50 kills, two XP Chevrons. 108 kills on the Terror Geist. You can see the, the, the Grave Guard also did quite well. Black Knights got some okay kills, again, but despite all those kill totals, there were still just so many Greenskin units on the field. And, uh, you know, the focus on Lord Sniping, I definitely understand using uh, Manfred to try and take out uh, Warzag as much as possible. But then, you got to be careful, because, like I said before, Slade X doing a great job with those missile units, spreading them out, you know, getting those different crossfires so that anywhere Manfred went, he was going to take some uh, missile fire to the face. So it's pretty rough, you know, Manfred uh, definitely got kind of forced into an unfavorable situation there. But uh, like I said, I just don't think that the uh, the horde killing power was really there. The Vampire Count's army is a little bit small. Personally, I'd probably cut the Terror Geist and uh, maybe upgrade these two Black Knights to Blood Knights or just bring more Black Knights. 
Uh, units like uh, Varix Reavers, very, very good in this matchup. Generally, the Greenskins aren't super good against Heavy Shot Cavalry. They do have plenty, have some tools that can uh, deal with them pretty effectively, but as the Vampire counts, um, you have you have some of the most cost-effective Heavy Cavalry in the game. Granted, they are relatively expensive, but Blood Knights, oh, not Chaos. What am I doing? Vampire counts. Uh, here we are. Okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Blood Knight's going to be very cost-effective here. Uh, the uh, Varix Reavers also I like quite a bit because their Greenskins don't have fire damage. They can't really counter this standard regeneration trait. They've also got 110 armor, 31 melee defense, 62 charge bonus. Just an excellent all-around unit in this matchup. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say maybe a little bit less heavy on the monsters and a little bit more heavy on the uh, heavy cavalry. It might be a way to go, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.